Hey guys, hi, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This will be a reading for Pisces, November 14th to the 15th of the weekend. Um, I know the weekend is kind of like already over, but like the energy was like kicking my behind. So I was taking a lot of baths and, you know, resting a lot. And well, now I have like a plenty of energy. So that's why I'm doing this. Also, because the perfectionist in me, I have to do the weekends before I do the weeklies. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the perfectionist in me. Anyways, so um, there is a whole bunch of Pisces out there. This is not going to be every single Pisces story. Take what's yours. Leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And I am still having that giveaway. I'll close it out at the end of November. So if you're a subscriber and you comment on any of my videos... I'm going to be raffling out um, sage, incense, crystals, and a deck of tarot cards or oracle cards, depending on the winner's choice. Um, so if you comment, I will include you in that. Okay, so let's see. Let's do three more shuffles for Pisces, November 14th to the 15th. I need to sneeze. Oh, bless me. Okay, Pisces, November 14th to the 15th, last shuffle. Okay, ying, you could be at peace right now. Just you could be embodying the feminine energy where you're just relaxing. You may be, you may have been dealing with someone that has been expecting you to bend over backwards for them, or you're just learning to forget um, the past. You know, you're learning how to be flexible, go with the flow, and focus on the here and now. Let's see. Yeah, maybe somebody was expecting you to bend over backwards for them. And the mask fell off where you started to realize that maybe this person was not committal because of the loyal heart, um, you know, and this is loyal heart, not lo loyal body. That's the only reason why I say that. And maybe you realize like, you know what, I'm just going to be at peace. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm not going to be bending over backwards for this person. Um, let's let's see how it goes. Take everything how it resonates. OK, guys, I have a deck for clarifiers and a romance deck I'll use. I'm going to do six cards for your person and six cards for you. So let's see. Pisces, November 14th to the 15th. Let's see what's happening. One more shuffle. Pisces, November 14th to the 15th. Okay, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. But I feel like there is major transformations going on in your life with the death card. Hopefully no one died this weekend. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, I mean, I've been getting a Scorpio card, but for some reason I feel like for some of you guys, you guys might have lost somebody, had a funeral. Anyways, I feel like you're looking at things from a different perspective, okay? Whatever change you're going through or if someone did pass away, my condolences, you know, um, I know the world is crazy right now, that's all. But regardless, I feel like this situation, you know, made you look at things from a different perspective, and, you know, you could be stuck in your head about a certain somebody. Let's take a look. Pisces, November 14th to the 15th. Yeah, maybe you jumped into a relationship with somebody. You could, they could even be a Capricorn. And maybe they were pretty toxic, you know. And, but this is something that you kind of already knew. You're just saying with the high priestess. You could be highly intuitive or you just, you know, follow your gut. Follow your vibe. And maybe your gut is telling you this person is the devil in disguise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, like, um... You know, just there is toxic ways about them. There could be addiction issues that you know about this person, you know, that they're dealing with right now. This might be something that you know of, um, that they have some sort of addictions. And here on their side, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn and Aries. Um, I feel like they're walking away from maybe saving money. You know, they're walking away from, let's take a look here. Yeah, this could be maybe you reconciled with a past person and they're pretty toxic. Um, let me see. Yeah, I feel like your person could be walking away from a third party. You know, maybe they had entered some sort of relationship with the Eight of Cups, Three of Cups. You could also be dealing with the Virgo here. Um, but there's a lot of um, cups here. So you could also be dealing with, uh, you know, a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, uh, Aquarius, right? Is that the, no, that's the air sign. Anyways, um, Pisces, <laughs> my bad. Uh, Pisces is the last water sign. Anyway, so I feel like someone is walking away from a third party relationship, walking away from somebody else. You know, maybe this was a tough decision to make, you know, should I continue to hold back from Pisces or should I reach out to them? And so I feel like for a swords, they're full of introspect right now, kind of deciding, praying, resting, relaxing. You know, I feel like they're making that decision. 
with the Emperor card here, I feel like they're really good at hiding and pretending they don't care. Okay? Um, I feel like they're really good at that. Pretending that they don't care. They're not showing their true feelings. Um, I'll get some more cards, clarifiers out, out of here. And on your side, I feel like, again, you might have jumped into a relationship with somebody that's toxic. Or maybe you wanted to, you know, and your intuition was telling you hold back. With the Nine of Wands and the High Priestess card here, you could have kind of held back from this person because there are some doubts, some hesitation involved. But I feel like with the um, Fool card and the Hermit card, you might have jumped into uh, starting a business for some of you guys. Others of you guys, I feel like, you know, you might have wanted to jump into a relationship with some, maybe, okay. Some of you guys might have, you know, jumped not into a relationship, but might have, you know, just went and had, you know, been intimate, had sex, um, one night stand type of thing. And they could have, you know, went, there could have been a secret here where there was someone else involved. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're very spiritual and this person is more earthly, obviously. And I feel like whatever this person did, they might have made you feel alone. But with the Six of Cups here, I feel like you might be obsessively thinking about a past person as well. Um, I feel like you're very mysterious here. The High Priestess is very mysterious. Um, see, with the Death card, Six of Wands, I feel like maybe your person is being humbled. They could have had a lot of ego in the past. And with the Page of Swords... I feel like they're watching you again, just pretending they don't care, you know, debate. But in actuality, I feel like they're they're negotiating with themselves. You know, they're trying to decide, you know, should I go towards Pisces? Should I not? You know, Pisces is a little bit, um, she's coming, he or she, I only say she because it's the queen of swords, is coming across as a little bit like a sword, like a little bit angry at me. Uh, see, with the lover's card, it is a strong soul connection. And then the king of wands, you know, they have their eye on you. But I feel like because of the way you're coming across is you're you're like deciding to hold back because this person is toxic some of you guys might have slept with somebody right whatever um you know but i feel like your person is really good at pretending they don't care and they're leaving you in this state where you're just like in limbo like what are they gonna do you know you're just not sure see i feel like you're learning to love yourself but i feel like you might even be jumping into a relationship with somebody that's kind of toxic and, but you might know this, you know, it's a past person that you think um, that you might have hope that it'll change. I mean, we'll look into it. Uh, but with the Hermit card and Six of Cups, I feel like you're, you know, they could be making you feel alone. And with the Six of Wands, you know, it's making you feel a little bit hesitant. You see, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you just want the situation to be balanced. You know, they might have reached out to you and you're a little bit hesitant but you see with the Five of Swords, I feel like they kind of come across as a little bit of an asshole in a way. And <laughs> yeah, that's going to bite them in the butt with their Tower card. And this is something they're going to have to work on. So let's get some clarifiers and then I'll use the Romance Angels and we'll be done. So let's see Pisces, November 14th to the 15th. What is that devil energy with Pisces? Let's do two more shuffles, Pisces. Yeah, see, you could, um, someone is guarded here. I'm not sure who it is yet. Um, but it's because they're trying to work on their emotions. I feel like that could be you here. Yeah, see, there could have been communication about someone wanting to move forward with you. And you're a little bit like, I don't know if I should trust you. So let's see, Pisces, what is that devil card for Pisces? What is that devil card for Pisces? Yeah, so this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but, you know, somebody who's has their eye on you and is very confident, I feel like they're low-key toxic, or high-key, you know, I feel like you already know this. Um, you see, you're hesitant because King of Cups upside down. This is a little person who paints a good picture, but they don't actually mean what they say. You know, with the King of Cups, this is someone that could cause you to have a long distrust in, well, men, because it's a guy on this card, but it could be a female too, that will cause you to have a lot of, mis you know, trust issues in regards to love, you know, because I feel like they're being manipulative. Um, I feel like they care about their own personal gain when it comes to love. Um, I also feel like you just have a lot of doubt in this relationship, you know, and it's making, you know, maybe this person is acting single 
in a relationship. Let's take a look here. What is this hermit card for Pisces as well? See, I think, or let me see, what is the king of cups upside down too? So hermit card, thank you. Um, they want to talk about this one first. Yeah. So I feel like maybe they're not, you know, putting in as much effort as you with the four of swords. And so it's giving you this fear that they're not being honest with you. Um, I feel like things are changing. Oh, nine of wands again. Okay, so you're just very hesitant about this person, very doubtful, possibly. Uh, what is this Wheel of Fortune for a sword for Pisces? Thank you. Queen of Cups. So, I feel like you guys are both scared. Because they both came out upside down. I mean, were those the only cards I had upside down? I mean, no. Actually, those cards came out in the upright previously. In another reading I don't remember so they should all be in the upright um yeah there's major judgment here there's a lot of karma here you guys might have did a lot of dirt to each other a lot of toxic things you know there was addiction issues in the past and I feel like there's that put a huge strain on the relationship now it's like a do or die like an ultimatum you know is this are we gonna get this right or not see seven of wands being guarded but not wanting to walk away I, look, because you want to come right back. You or them. Look at that. Just confused. Just confused. You lost me dealing with the Scorpio. So what is that Hermit card for Pisces? And then I'm going to move on to their person. And then we'll do the Romance Angels. So what is that Hermit card for Pisces? Yeah, see, you're, you're choosing to go within... I feel like you see the bigger picture here. Like, look, I can't change this person. So I'm going to start working on myself, you know, and just be patient. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. So let's see, Pisces. Um, let's take a look at your person. What is this three of cups here for your person, Pisces? Yeah, I feel like they have some, with the judgment card, they have some disappointments here and holding back and not showing you much effort. Or that could be the reason why they're holding back. Because of all the disappointments and things like that. Yeah. I feel like maybe they're very superficial. Chasing. You know, they wanted to be single and have all these things, you know. But now it's making them stuck in their head. Because they realize, like, yeah, I got the short end of the stick. Every person I got, every item I got. Now I live alone and I have, you know, I have all these things. But... You know, I, I missed out, you know, from a past person here that we have good memories with. Um, so let's see, what is this Three of Cups and the Four of Swords for Pisces person? I'll do Three of Cups first for Pisces person. Three of Cups, please, with the Eight of Cups. Thank you. Yeah, see, they have a lot of anxiety towards walking away from... I. Yeah, wow, the attention of other people. Six of wands three of cups i feel like they enjoy the single life not that they don't love you but again because like i said they're really good at pretending not to care i feel like this is more like they have a hard time i feel like they're afraid about what other people are going to say for some reason uh what is the four of swords for pisces like i feel like you know if they get with you they have this anxiety about like what are other people going to say See, they are holding back from proving it to you. They're with the Four of Swords debating, you know, should I? Should I not? Should I put in the work for Pisces? What is the Four of Swords? And take it how it resonates. Feel free to stop it around. So the Four of Swords, you know, they're debating on jumping into this here. You know, I feel like they're trying to use the law of attraction, trying to manifest rather than actually show. Like I said, they're really good at pretending not to care. What is the four of uh, pentacles? That's probably what I'm going to call this video. You see, they're holding back. And it could be in regards to them wanting to save money. Because it's kind of true when you're in a relationship, it does cost money. You know what I'm saying? So what is the emperor card for Pisces also? November 14th. Thank you. Yeah. So they do want a family. This could be like a husband, a baby daddy as well with the emperor. Um, I feel like they're debating on whether or not they want a family with you. I feel like they low-key do. But again, they're really good at pretending not to care. 
and I'm probably going to title that video this. Pisces, November 14th to the 15th, two more shuffles, Pisces. Last shuffle, Pisces, November 14th to the 15th for the weekend. See, retreat. You guys need to disconnect from the world, disconnect from other people. Pisces, November 14th to the 15th. See, there's a lot of passion in the relationship. Yeah, with all these ones. Yeah. Can I get a card for Pisces persons? We'll make it land on their side, please. Thank you. Any more? Nope. Okay. So again, time to disconnect from the world. Disconnect from other people, your person. There's real romantic feelings there if your person wants to explore them. And on your side, I feel like you guys might come from different backgrounds, have different religions. Just there's, in general, there's differences here. I feel like you guys might have been brought up differently. And so that caused a lot of um, issues in the relationship. But there is a lot of passion here. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Have a great one. Thank you. Bye.